it's Queen Elizabeth, and I'm back. Um, this is Spiritually Street Journey, so continue to follow me and get this power. You know, knowledge is power and wisdom is wealth. But anyways, um, so today I'm going to be telling you about the spiritual robbers, and today is February 7th, 2022. I have been robbed all of my life like all of my life I've been spiritually robbed and spiritually assaulted and all of the above so how to identify those sp stealing from you spiritually and how to deal with them I'm gonna let you know I know that the number one tool in the spiritual warfare is prayer so I definitely pray without ceasing like that's all I do is God's work like it's the only way I can live my life day to day, like constantly praying, listening to Sarah Jakes or gospel music. Like I can't even listen to rap at this moment. Like, and I'm fine with that. But in Matthew 13, 25, it says, but, but while men sleep, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. Meaning like while we're asleep, we're helpless. So the dreams and the things that you're missing in your dreams and stuff like that, like they spiritually rob us at that moment when we're helpless. And the enemy does travel at night, the evil does, and they steal our destinies, our blessings, delay us, block us, all of that. And some people aren't even aware of spirituality, what it means, but it is so deep. Like if you don't have no spirituality, basically you're not nothing. Who is a spirit? who is a spiritual robber as defined in john 10 10 the thief comes not but to kill steal and destroy yes so a spiritual robber is any spirit or being or activity or habit in us or around us with intentions to steal kill and destroy mostly understood as a spiritual activity carried out with the permission of victim of his victim knowingly and unknowingly which leaves the victim in a terrible state, wanting to kill themselves, wanting to kill others, just down and out. Most destinies have been ruined by works or activities of spiritual robbers. And I rebuke you. I send every robber the fire of the Holy Ghost. And I ask God right now to arrest them right now. And I ask for restoration of everything that has been stolen from me and mine. In sevenfold, tenfold, threefold, twofold. I, it doesn't even matter. But God, I just ask that you're arresting them right now. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. How we can identify the robbers in our life. I need to go on Oprah, honey. She just done Oprah news. All right. Prayer. Watch and pray. And ye enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing but the flesh is weak. When you notice you can pray as usual or for a longer period, you should know that the spiritual robbers are at work. Spiritual blindness, so that means they work in 24-7 on Elizabeth because I pray every day, all day. Spiritual blindness, the inability to discern or see the invisible. Yes, thank God I have accelerated vision. Yes, thank you, God. In Kings, Elisha prayed for his servant's eyes to be open to see what the physical eyes could not see. Yes. Oh, thank you, God, for discernment. Thank you. Enhance it, God. Yes. Spiritual deafness. When you can't understand and hear what God is saying, you can't hear the inaudible. Mm. John chapter 8. Why do you why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my words? Ooh, demonic dreams. Most dreams are not from God. They are evil dreams to kill, steal, and destroy his victim. For example, when you see yourself eating unnecessarily or being forced by someone to eat in a dream, that is a spiritual robber at work. When you see yourself making love or having sex in a dream, when you lose your hair, your Bible, your money, your shoe, or something precious, you couldn't recover or find it in a dream. When you see dead relatives or coffins and so on, those are spiritual robbers. Mm. Ooh, monitoring or familiar spirits are spiritual robbers. They can peep into your life and follow you up and down to stop you from succeeding. They have monitoring tools like evil mirrors or evil plots. They even also have monitoring representatives in forms of animals or insects. Mm. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits and unto wizards that peep and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God for the living of the dead? Mm. Yeah. Sickness. 
when you notice you're keeping keep spending money on particular illness and still no improvement that is a spiritual robber to rob you of your health and your money and and luke it says and woman have an issue with blood mm, which has spent all her life upon physicians neither could be healed of any but remember this though when she touched god's dress it ends god said who touched me and then the lady didn't say nothing but then she admitted that she touched god it's only because she needed that power mm, 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 mm. bad habits and lifestyles example examples are drunkenness laziness prostitution adultery anger telling lies womanizing living a life of deception masturbation watching pornography gambling giving taking bride up abortion autism witchcraft practice unforgiveness hearings and so on okay i can say that i am guilty of one of one of these two of these three of these i ain't gonna go on about what i'm guilty about but i ask for forgiveness for all known and unknown sins that i have committed god and i just ask that you forgive me and you restore me and that you help me to not go astray again and where i feel that i need to however it is that i get money or or what it is i'm doing god i just ask that you replenish my occupation with something better like your work and your will amen oh this is how you deal with them First, I have to ask God for mercy, which I just did. First, to identify your own spiritual robbers. Second, ask God for mercy. Concerning the door you open to spiritual robbers to enter your life. God, I just want to shut it right now. Amen. Whew. And sending them packing with fire prayers. Yes. If you have not given your life to Christ or you backslid, now's the time. Surrender your life in Jesus' name. Yes. Thank God. I just did that. Wherever God has highly exalted him and given his name, which is above every every name that the name of jesus every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and and things under the earth and every tongue should confess that jesus christ is lord to the glory of god the father and that's philippians 2 if you want to surrender your life to god say these short words in this prayer oh lord jesus and lift your hand you know you got to reach for them blessings in your right hand or cross your heart oh lord jesus i know i'm a sinner i want you to I want you in my life. I surrender all I have to you, Jesus. Please forgive me for my sins. I promise to live for you from now on. I make you, Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. Satan, leave me alone. I am married to Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. For In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Mm -mm -mm. Here are some more prayers. Father, I thank you that you will give me victory over my known and unknown spiritual robbers in my life and my family in jesus name amen lord forgive me and wash me in the blood of jesus for every door i opened to spiritual robbers i repent for my sins and ask that the doors be shut to all spiritual robbers my father let your light shine and expose every spiritual robber in the churches and on their activities i close every door open in the spiritual robber open to the spiritual robbers in my life and in my family every dream of boarding my testimonies expire now in jesus name my spiritual blindness and deafness be healed by fire now. Fire of God, locate the storehouse of my spiritual robbers and release all of my blessings and everything that was stole from me in Jesus' name. My lost glory, where are you? Return to me now by fire in Jesus' name. Every sickness in my body expire now in Jesus' name. Every monitoring spirit in the father's house and the mother's house or in my in-law's house, I curse you today. Lose your hold over my, my family, my life and everything attached to me everyone in jesus name every familiar spirit agent in form of wall geikos cockroaches spiders rats birds catch fire and die in jesus name Whew. Mm -mm -mm. my father deal with my spiritual robbers and let them pay back all that was stole from me in sevenfold begin to cover all of my prayers and their answers in the blood of jesus christ now Thank you for all the answered prayers that I have had answered and the ones that you haven't got to yet. In your name, I pray. Amen. Oh, y'all, that was deep. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>